nice and even along the band so that it doesn't overlap. Next, I'm going to put it on my right side. And to show you how to do this in standing, you want to put your right leg forward a little bit and put the majority of your weight on the back leg, trying to relax that leg as best as possible. Adjust your pants, pull the band up into your thigh as high as you can. You may need to pull the tube away from the band so that you can get a nice, good seal while you do this. Pull the band tight, align the inside part of the band in between your legs, and the outer side along the side. Now use a little clip to put that on the band. Keep the hoses nice and concealed. For this, I'm going to do pro and high. So eight rounds, 30 seconds on and five seconds off. When they go through the cycles, there's a few seconds of ramp up time. So it may be a little bit longer depending on how high the pressure. When you're doing the leg cycles, you can do them in sitting or you can do them standing. First, I'll show you the sitting portion. The three point cycles, three point exercises during the cycle are knee extensions, knee flexion, so straighten them and bend them. You can move your hips around, you can bend forward, wiggle your toes, take your legs out wide, bring them together. Remember to breathe. Nice, relaxed breathing the entire time. If at any point in time it becomes painful, push the power button and stop the cycle. Now I'm going to stand up and do some light squatting. Your range of motion is not important, but you're engaging those muscles in your thighs and in your calves. So here we're going to do some heel raises. Go up on your toes and then rock back and lift your feet off the ground as best as you can. Wiggle your toes around and then add in a squat. Use a chair or something to hang on to if you have poor balance. Squat down, stand up and go up on your toes. Nice smooth squats. You don't want to lock your knees out too tight. Rather keep your muscles engaged by keeping those knees slightly bent and then as you come up into full standing squeeze your buttock muscles and push your hips forward. Squat down, squeeze your glutes, go up forward, roll those hips. Well, you can do some standing marching so standing hip flexion, this is great for balance. Shifting your weight side to side, pulling your knees up and your toes up. And go up and out, so hip openers. Stand it up, pull it out, open up those hips. Now we're going to go back to a squat. Nice and smooth, wide base, toes out about 45 degrees. Squat down, stand up tall and squeeze your glutes and then go up on your toes. Remember to breathe, deep breath. As you stand up, exhale and squeeze your muscles. Next, I'm gonna do some knee bends, bringing my heel up towards my glutes alternating legs is nice or you can do a few on one side and then switch and do some other ones now I'm doing some donkey kicks really working those butt muscles push back if you feel comfortable to do this without hanging on anything use your arms to help counterbalance remember that katsu is a full body workout so even though you're doing your legs the rest of your body is still getting the benefit here we have a three-way hip exercise. Hip flexion coming forward, hip abduction going outside, and hip extension going back. And even though your swing leg is working, you're also working the leg you're balancing on. So that stance leg is also getting a good workout too. 
Next, I'm going weight shift to a single leg heel raise. You can do one heel raise at a time, or you can do a few on one side and then switch sides. Use your other leg to help you balance, or you can let it float. Shift your weight, pump your calves. Remember to mash your toes into the ground to grab the floor with your foot. Press up and down. Take your feet out wide, shift your weight side to side to stretch the thigh muscles on the inside, and then you can even add some upper body rotations while you go side to side. Add in some yoga poses, turn your feet out, and reach. Or you can just simply squat. Now here, I'm squatting down and working on some weight shift. So a mini squat with a little side to side shift to really get all that blood pumping through those legs. We're on cycle six, almost done. You'll notice your heart rate slightly increases and your breathing and respiration rate also is going to pick up slightly. Here, I like to work my feet. You're gonna wiggle your toes roll your ankles around, lift them up, press them down, and then switch. The muscles for your toes are in your foot, and the muscles for your ankle are in your calves. Katsu is great because it helps improve the circulation in the small capillary beds at the very far ends of your toes and your fingers. So by working those little tiny muscles at the very end of your limbs, you're really getting your body to get the full benefits of katsu. After that, I'm gonna go back to a nice calf raise with a weight shift. Move the chair out of the way. And we're gonna progress into more of a single leg squat. This is a little bit more advanced, so you may have to hold onto the chair or something for balance. Step back, swing forward. Use your arms for balance so you step back and swing forward. Whichever leg is stepping back, that same side arm is reaching forward. Step back and swing that knee up nice and high. Knees up, toes up as you swing forward. Sink down nice and smooth. And as you come up, you can even come up wide to stretch out those hips. As you feel more comfortable with your balance, you can sink further and further into a single leg squat, and you can reach across your body for a bleak and ab stretch while you do the squat. This is a great exercise if you do any MMA, Muay Thai, or martial arts. Step back, stand up, high knee great balance exercise. Now at this point we're on cycle 8 so if you would like to progress into more of a training mode you can simply disconnect the hoses while it's in the middle of the cycle mode and the bands will retain the pressure from the 8th cycle. You hit the power button to shut it off and I like to turn it off to save the battery. place it to the side and you can continue into the training portion of katsu. Here I'm just going to simply do some pelvic circles to really loosen up my hips. Side to side to loosen up the thigh muscles. Push back and forward and you'll feel a nice stretch on your calves and your hips. After that Make sure you take care of your bands, placing the Katsu logo through the clip and anchoring it next to the hose. Align the bands and strap the hose back on there. 